everyone and welcome back to my channel not so nerdy so today we are going to deep dive into the world of hackathons whether you are a coding enthusiast whether an aspiring uh, entrepreneur or you know just someone looking to enhance their problem solving skills hackathon is an incredibly rewarding experience trust me on that so in this video, we'll explore what hackathon is, what are the benefits of taking part in them, how can you select the hackathons which are suited according to your interests, and lastly, how tips on you know how can you can win those hackathons. So let's get started. To kick things off, let's start with understanding what a hackathon is. Well, it's an event where individuals or teams come together to collaboratively solve problems, you know, often in a limited time frame, let's say 24 to 48 hours, but it can also go on for 15 days or a month. It usually depends on the organizer and the motive behind the hackathon. And these hackathons are usually centered around technologies, uh, coding, innovation, and they encourage participants to solve real world challenges uh, or build software solutions. Now that you know what hackathons are, let's talk about the benefits of taking part in them. The first and foremost is the skill development. I myself started my hackathon journey because of that very reason. Like you get a good exposure and you'll realize that uh, you'll know about so many technologies. You'll get a good clarity on which technology you, wa you want to focus on or where your interest lies. You can work on those skills. So hackathon is one platform which will help you a lot in that. Second is networking. Uh, when you take part in hackathons, you meet so many like-minded individuals. You'll know about what's going on in their life, what they are focusing on. And that's how you'll get to know a lot of things which are uh, going on in the world of technology. And of course, networking is always important. And one of the other benefits is you will work on real world challenges. You'll get an exposure to the real world projects. Uh, which you can of course add to your resume so that's another benefit you can add so many uh, you know skills and about the hackathons in your resume even if you have not won or you have just participated you can definitely mention it in your resume and it will add a lot of value the recruiter would know that okay you are an enthusiast and you know you are an, uh, you are a tech enthusiast and he'll definitely you know consider those things so uh definitely uh, add that exposure to your resume don't keep it hidden even if you have not won and you know what the last benefit is of course the prizes and recognition that you get so if you win a hackathon you get a lot of recognition on linkedin on you know uh, wherever you post so these are some of the benefits of taking part in a hackathon so where can you find hackathons to participate in? Some of the best websites which I would suggest uh, to you know, discover your hackathon opportunities are. So one of the websites where you can find your hackathons is DevPost. It's uh, very famous and well, you, you can go on its page devpost.com, click on hackathons if you want or you can find it at the homepage. And you can also choose according to the theme you are interested in, let's say IoT or machine learning AI, which is in trending. So let's go here. Then you can shortlist if uh, you are interested in in person or yeah, okay, let's select in person. Then you can go with the status, whether it's upcoming, it's going to start soon or it's open, like it's going on. So you can shortlist here. Then the, the length, the one which I'm, I was talking about that it could be a 24 hours, a two day event or, you know, it can even last for a month or more. So just select uh, the length according to your availability and you can also add more interest tags from here. Let's say you want a blockchain oriented, uh, let's move this. 
then you can find it here so most of the hackathons are like you know uh they have a good amount of prizes as you can see so let's check out this one uh neocon irl um so it's uh, now now if you are you know selecting a hackathon you'll have to check the eligibility as well so it's like about legal age of majority in country of residence so it's like you need to check the eligibility this one is let let me go for online you'll have more options there okay uh, or am so let's say i go to this ibm uh, datathon so you can view the rules here you can check the prizes and yeah okay some of the hackathons even have the eligibility criteria like only individuals can take uh, like student can take part or only working professionals can take part so make sure you read the eligibility criteria that's important and then they have given why should you join the requirements these are the prizes you can register you can join the hackathon from here and you'll have to sign up it's but that's that and they have given you the schedule here okay now another best website is hacker earth uh, so i am choosing this is hackerearth.com you can go click on start coding and here you have a lot of other things as well let's click on hackathons so these are like the live ones which are currently going on and these were the previous ones we have not listed many but yeah you can find here now you can also go for university challenges yeah it's it's, it's all over but yeah so hacker earth is one of the websites another is up unstop so unstop was called d2c dare to compete or something before if you have been here before you'll know it okay so just go on compete they also have a lot many other options you can find jobs as well now here you'll find a lot of things like competitions hackathons quizzes hiring challenges let's click on hackathon so you can put in filters here like the event type online or offline team size if you want to be uh, if you just want to take part as an individual you can click on one uh, whatever then uh, okay some of the hackathons are paid i would recommend not to take part in them but it's totally up to you then check the eligibility like i said so some of them only want professionals or you know just the school students or college students so check the eligibility of every hackathon before you register yourself in that and you can search it like if i want to go for data science i can click on data science i can see okay so these are some of the challenges registration is closed already try to take part in uh, now they have given the eligibility as engineering students undergrad and bs students then these are the rounds which will take part like resume shortlisting round online quiz data hack so go through the details properly before registering yourself another best website is devfolio like i personally like devfolio you can click you can go on devfolio.co uh, click on hackathons and here you can you know find the hackathons you are interested to take part in these are the upcoming ones and you can click on remind me these are the uh, the registrations have opened okay so it's live and lastly it's mlh a lot it's a very big community they have so you can just click on hackathons here 2024 hackathon okay these are in person only this one is digital so it's upcoming oh it's ongoing actually 13 to 15th yeah now why i personally like hackathon is uh, i mean mlh because they even give you good resources to learn from so it's really interesting actually now uh you can explore as many websites as you want but uh try to you know uh shortlist according to your interest which theme you want to pick what challenge you want to solve uh that's how you will be selecting the best uh the right hackathon for you right 
Uh, now let's talk about how to win in a hackathon. So some of the tips on how to win a hackathon. The first and foremost is form a strong team. If you are taking part in a hackathon as a team, I would suggest that, you know, find individuals which would complement your skills because uh, they'll help you in completing the project. So, and of course, they are equally passionate about the project you're working on. So you need to do some searching on that. You need to, if you already have a group of friends who can take part, then definitely go ahead with that. Make sure that you form a good team. That's what, that's very important. Like when I took part uh, in one of the hackathons, that was actually my first hackathon. I formed a good team and I targeted one particular prize. Like it was like, there were first prize, second prize, third prize. Then there was a women only prize. I was like, the having like focusing on that first, second, third is actually pretty, like to win that is hard. But if it's women only, chances are good. So I was like, I'll form a team which only have women. So I, I put, I, I used that strategy. So make sure that you make a team according to, you know, where you uh, can win. Then you need to also plan and organize, have a clear agenda and, you know, assign the roles properly that who will work on what, uh, have a roadmap to the solution so that's very important if it's a one month long hackathon start preparing from day one and assign your weeks accordingly another is uh have a like make the prototype quickly if you have a minimum viable product mvp ready you'll the chances of winning are great so do that and of course you need to have a good pitch pitching skills if you are doing bad in a hackathon pitching is very important how you pitch your idea how you show your product so the one uh, hackathon i took part in i had to post a video on youtube like i had to pitch via a youtube video so i'll share that link in the description do check it out for reference uh, it's really good to have like practice well before you present in front of the judges and of course like pay attention to details like you know the documentation which you show or the presentation which you show it's very important to pay attention to details and um, sometimes uh, when you get cross questioned you might you know get scared or not be able to answer so if you have that clarity before uh, the main day just you know you'll you'll perform great so try to you know solve those questions uh, before itself like uh, what could be asked in the judgment area or whatever and lastly uh, ask for feedback that's very important so whenever you have your project ready or uh, you know before the main day just uh, seek for feedback from other individuals who can guide you well before your presentation day or something. So do that, please. So, hope you got a good clarity on what hackathons are, what are the benefits of taking part, how to register for hackathons, and how to, you know, win, form a good team and everything. So if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. You can check out the links in the description. I've also mentioned there uh, different websites and yeah that's that happy hacking do good have a great success hope you guys win and uh, let me know if you do win in any hackathon if this video was beneficial please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye